Hey, what's up guys, Boba Rail here, and today I've got Dev Blog Breakdown number 5 for the next game in the World War 1 game series, Isanzo. So, it's been a little while since we got any info about the game, but yesterday they dropped dev post number 5 showing off the class system as well as the weapon selection UI. One of the things I hear the most when playing with new players to Tannenberg and Verdun is, how do I change my class? Because honestly, the current system for changing guns and classes is pretty cumbersome. And although it might not seem like much, it's very important to understand how this works and see the tweaks that have been made here. So now I'll stop delaying and we'll jump right into this dev blog. As you can see here, they seem to be completely overhauling this and you will be able to choose your class and weapon individually with an updated UI that's much easier to understand. Something to point out here is the way that class limiting works. There will now be a team-wide limit on certain classes and weapons instead of the usual role system that we're used to from the other games. Now, I should clarify here that this doesn't mean squads are going anywhere, and you'll still be able to play with a couple of your buddies in a specific squad based on historically accurate unit. Generally, these changes are going to allow players to have a lot more freedom in terms of picking their loadout and developing a unique playstyle. More combinations of perks and gadgets are going to let you pick the equipment you need and adapt as you progress through the match. There are some trade-offs to it though, like here where you can select whether you want to use a knife to gain the edge in melee combat, or a grenade to clear out that one stubborn MG nest. So there are definitely some sacrifices that need to be made when picking your equipment. I should also note that most, but not all classes will spawn with a shovel and some kind of wire cutter, and this should help to make the battlefield feel as interactive as possible. The shovel will be able to build basic defenses, and the wire cutters obviously will cut through place barbed wire. Also, I mentioned perks a little bit, and they seem like they'll work very similar to the support abilities in Tannenberg, like the grenade crates, normal ammo crates, and the portable radio. But there will also be some unique ones to Isanzo, like the saboteur that makes it take half as long to dismantle enemy emplacements. So that's most of what they covered in this dev blog, but there's also a few more little things I'm going to talk about. The first of which is that they confirmed there will be armor in the game that operates as more than just a cosmetic. To directly quote them, maybe taking Sentry's body armor is a wiser choice to keep that suppression from explosives under control. So based on that, I would guess that the likely effects are less suppression as well as resistance to explosives. Now finally, to close out this video, we have the guessing game, which I'm pretty sure is a German flare gun called the Hebel Model 1894. As always, if you think I'm wrong about this, let me know what you think it is in the comments below. If you'd like to join our Discord to play with other people in the World War 1 community, all the links are in the description. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help support the channel. This has been Bobo Rail, and I'll catch you all in the next one.